This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin read by Sandeepan Chakravarti. The central government has written to all states and union territories asking that smartphones and tablet devices should be allowed for hospitalized COVID-19 patients so that they can interact with family and friends through video conferencing. This is expected to provide the patients psychological support. Though mobile phones are allowed in hospital wards, the letter was issued following some representation from the relatives of patients alleging that mobile phones are not being allowed by the hospital administrations. In Assam, the second plasma bank was inaugurated at Tejpur Medical College. Health Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma inaugurated the plasma bank. He said that already three people have donated plasma. The minister assured that efforts are on in the state to conduct more number of rapid antigen tests. In a tweet, the minister said that with 0.24%, Assam has recorded the lowest mortality rate in the country. Assam government has allowed malls, hotels and restaurants to operate following strict COVID-19 norms. In an order, the chief secretary of the state said that malls and gymnasiums are allowed to operate between Monday to Friday. The order further said that restaurants, hotels and other hospitality services are allowed to operate on all days except Saturday with strict maintenance of COVID-19 protocols. Inter-district movement of people would be allowed on Monday and Tuesday. In Manipur, 75 people including 14 persons from Central Armed Police Force have tested positive for COVID-19. They have been shifted to the COVID care facilities. All necessary medical precautionary measures like containment and contact tracing are in place. On the other hand, 38 people were discharged from different hospitals after recovery. The total number of COVID-19 affected people has reached 2,831 and out of them 1,737 have recovered in the state. 1,087 people are under treatment. In Nagaland, 104 people tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday, taking the total number of affected people to 1,935 in the state. Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pang New Form in a tweet said that 62 cases are from Dimapur, 18 from Zunheboto, 17 from Kohima, 5 from Woka and 1 each in Mon and Fek. He also said that all contact tracing are fully activated for everyone's safety. Meanwhile, eight more people recovered today from Kohima, taking the number of recoveries to 648. 1,279 are currently undergoing treatment at district COVID-19 hospitals and COVID care centers. So far, four people have succumbed to COVID-19. Newsroom on Sunday reported the highest single-day spike of COVID-19 with 55 people being infected with the deadly virus, taking the northeastern state's case load to 468, an official said. Sunday's single-day jump surpassed the July 10th record in which 51 people had tested positive for COVID-19. 54 fresh coronavirus cases were reported in Aizor district, while, while one was registered in Lungle, the official said. 47 of the new patients were security personnel, he said. The new patients had returned to the state from different parts of the country, he said. In Meghalaya, 18 new COVID-19 cases were registered yesterday, which includes a doctor from Negrims, taking the total active case to 605. Director of Health Services, Dr. Amanwar, said from, from the 18 new cases, 13 cases were from East Kasi Hills District, includes 3 Armed Forces personnel, 5 BSF personnel and 4 civilians, 4 from Ribhoi District and 1 from East Jantia Hills District. He further informed that out of the total 605 active Positive cases in Meghalaya, East Kazi Hills has 497 cases, which include 230 BSA personnel, 227 civilians and 57 armed force personnel. Sikkim yesterday reported 8 new COVID-19 cases, taking the Himalayan state's tally to 658. Director General Come Secretary Health Dr. Pim Dr. Pempa Tibhutia said that East Sikkim has reported seven new positive cases and South Sikkim one case. While 289 patients have recovered from COVID-19 so far, the number of active cases remains at 368, he said. Sikkim has reported one casualty due to COVID-19 while four patients are admitted in the intensive care unit, Bhutia added. East Sikkim district has reported, 40, has reported 471 cases followed by 144 in South Sikkim. 42 in West Sikkim and 1 in North Sikkim, the official said.
And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.